Hey guys, what's going on? Joshua with Techtopia TV, and uh, I've been no, I've been lacking on the video content lately on the channel, but uh, I've kind of been up to some things and rearranging the office and buying furniture for it and getting a new desk and uh, uh, just a bunch of other things have been going on. So this is my old desk here. I kind of took it apart and everything else. So there's the metal legs that it was on, the black desk here that I painted myself. It used to be like a wood veneer or whatever you want to call it. It was like a uh, particle board. So it was like real kind of crap quality. I mean, it was a super heavy desk. It was super sturdy. I didn't have any issues with that. Um, and it actually was an extremely nice desk and I liked it a lot, but I like it a lot. But uh, yeah, so I decided what I was gonna do was I was gonna go out and try to find a new tabletop, uh, uh, either a countertop from Ikea, tabletop from Ikea or somewhere else. And then I was going to go ahead and just um, put everything together, uh, take the legs, the legs and the uh, cross member off of my old desk and just put it on a new tabletop. That's basically all I was gonna do. I wasn't gonna do anything else. So, um, I originally had the idea of um, going out and buying a uh, Bicant desk. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with IKEA's furniture, but it's got like the little T-shaped legs. Uh, it's got rounded edges. It's got like a smooth top, but it's you know it's a thin desk. I mean, it, it was okay. Uh, my buddy has one. Uh, if you guys have been with the channel for a while, Justin, the one that was uh, doing weekend technology with me for a while, um, he has one of those desks and. He says that he doesn't have a problem with it, and he's on carpet. So I figured it would be a little, a little wobblier and less sturdy on carpet than it would be on a hard floor like mine. So my wife and I had made the 70 mile venture to Ikea. We looked at the vacant desk. And of course, you know, you can't really go by the ones that are out on the actual floor itself because, you know, half the time people hang on them. Kids are constantly messing with them while I was there even hanging on them, sitting on them and everything else. So they loosen up and they're not going to be like the way that it will, would be at your place, your house. So anyway, we're there. The desk is like really rocky. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting it to be, I guess. So I started walking around, started looking at it and then went back to the whole idea of I'm going to basically make my own desk. Um, I'll take the legs and the cross member from my desk at home, put a new tabletop or a countertop on it, cut it down to the size I need and be done. Well, so fast forward an, another, uh, or actually while we were there, I was walking around and I found a Gerton tabletop. It's G-E-R-T-O-N. So I you know, took the tag number, where it was located and everything, went down to the warehouse section. If you know anything about Ikea, that's how it works. You walk around the showroom, you see what you like, that has a tag on it, tells you what aisle and what bin it's in. You go to that aisle, you go to that bin, and if they have some, you're good. If you, they don't have any, well, they don't have any. So we walked down to that area. They had the 51 or 55 inch version, but they didn't have the 61 inch version. And the 61 inch version is what I wanted because it was almost the exact same size as this table. So <clears throat> they didn't have it. We asked around, they didn't have it in any other location. So we were like, okay, great. We drove all the way over here for absolutely nothing. So we picked up a few other little things while we were there. So the trip wasn't completely useless. And then we came home. Well, oh no, we asked the clerk and the clerk said that they would get more in on October 30th. So October 30th, they were supposed to get like 26 of them in, right? So I checked the website, the 27th or 28th or whatever, uh, maybe, yeah, it was like probably the 28th. So it was like that weekend before Halloween. I checked their website because you could check the, the stock and the inventory that they have in Orlando store here in Melbourne or uh, here in Florida, the Orlando store said that they had 11 in stock. They were going to have 11 in on Sunday, 11 and then 15 in on Monday. So I was like, wait a minute. I called them up. The lady says they have none, <clears throat> none whatsoever. And they don't have any shipments coming in for it until February. I'm like, really? The, the one thing that I finally find that I want and I decide on, they're not going to have any more until February. Okay, then I guess I'm not getting that run right now. So I came home or not, I came home from wherever we were whenever I was calling and talking to him or whatever. I was kind of pissed and um, back to the drawing board, try to figure out what else I can do. What else wood can I find? Where can I grab another tabletop or a countertop that I would like? That's not like a veneer. I wanted like a solid wood 
so it was nice and firm and stiff so anyhow I fast forward to a couple days ago I looked online on Craigslist somebody had a Girton table but it ended up having like these weird like sawhorse style legs on it so I was like he was selling it for a decent price it was in really great shape so I was like okay I'll come by and take a look at it so I ended up buying it it was a little bit more than just the tabletop because it had the legs with it and everything so you know it wasn't horrible I talked him down a little bit but not much great shape and everything brought it home I um, did like four coats of polyurethane on it sanded it down got it nice and smooth but did four coats of polyurethane on it so let's go uh, take a look at the desk all right so here we are back in my office I'm sorry if it's extremely echoey in here we got like a lot of crap taken out right now because I'm rearranging that mess so as you remember my desk used to sit over here right so my desk was over here um, I had it going, you know, facing this way, and then I had all my network gear and like the horrible wiring was all just kind of shoved underneath the desk and everything. So now this is the desk. So I started to, I got it home. I put like four coats of polyurethane on it. Went ahead and made sure that I, you know, sanded in between each coat, got it nice and smooth, got out any of the dust or any kind of bubbles or bumps or anything like that before I started the next coat on it. I really love the way it turned out. The color did not change at all. It still looks exactly like the wood block like it was, which is what I wanted. And everything is good as far as that goes. So as you can tell, hmm, I didn't use the legs from the other table. I ended up keeping the saw horse legs. Now the reason why I did this, number one, for ease, because they literally just have pegs in the bottom of the board from, or the top from the last people that owned it and you literally just pop it in place. You can remove these pins, these pins right here. You can slide those out and then it has all these different holes in here in this wood and you can raise the table up. You can tilt it at an angle. You can do a lot of different things with it. So I was like, man, I was like, that's actually not a bad idea. It's super solid, super sturdy. It ain't moving anywhere. So I was like, man, do I really mess with it? I kind of like the look. I kind of like the whole modern, clean, just wood look. So I didn't know if the black metal on the end. Now the issue that I ran into was that there's a cross piece that goes between the metal legs on my old desk. It was, it was another like particle board just piece. It was like the vanity thing or like the, the privacy thing, you know, so that way you don't look up a lady's skirt if she's a, you know, an admin or something like that, or a secretary or whatever you want to call them, PC nowadays. So anyway, it had one of those little protective barriers on it, the little vanity piece or whatever, right? Well, that piece is actually shorter than the tabletop itself. So if you, if this tabletop was about an inch larger than the one that was originally on it. So if I put it out an inch and that other board down below was already shorter than the tabletop, now it's really short. So now it's not going to reach. And that was the problem. So that piece wouldn't reach going across the table. It was like, 10 30 11 o'clock last night and i just simply said i don't care anymore so the fact that i didn't care anymore i just slapped it oh, i switch back this way so i have better lighting um i just went ahead and just slapped the saw horse legs on it um because whenever i took my started taking my desk apart i started with that cross member piece and once that cross member piece was missing the desk or the desk could just sit there and go like you just bump it one time and the thing would just sit there and rock for like five minutes before it would stop. So I'm like, nope. Uh, I would either have to go out and buy another piece of wood, have it cut down to the right size, drill holes in that. I would have had to have drilled, not even joking, for the those other legs. I would have had to drill two holes in the side of this. I would have had to drill two holes in the bottom of that. And then two on the other side, two on the bottom of the other side. And then I would have had to do six holes across the bottom for that support cross member piece, which I probably didn't really need for this because it's not part of the board. This is like real wood, that thing. I can like literally sit on this and it doesn't even bow a, a millimeter. So it's really super solid. I love it, but um, I ended up not going with the other legs. I ended up going with these and I'm actually starting to kind of fall in love with them a little bit. Um, I didn't think that I would like them, but I like them. Uh, so yeah, 
that's the new desk. It's a Girton table from Ikea uh, with polyurethane on it. It's got like, I don't even know what the name of the legs are. I'll try to figure it out and I'll put them in the description down below if you guys are interested. Um, I got my sweet little YouTube plant there, you know, all the, all the big YouTubers have their little plant. So I bought my little plant as well. So that's per Perseus, Perseus the plant. So anyhow guys, um, I'm going to uh, speed up this video. Um, I'm not gonna do a time lapse of me putting it all together because I got a load of crap to do. I'm not even joking, it's ridiculous. We bought this huge like cubed like thing to put in here. Uh, it's got like all these like pockets in it. I think it's like four by four. So it's like four feet wide by four feet wide or five feet wide or something like that. I think it's five by five. It's a huge piece, basically, is what it is. And um, it's gonna go over here in this corner. My, the ups, I'm not gonna put the ups on my computer this time because I wanna try to keep this area clean. Um, but the ups is gonna go down in the bottom pocket along with all the networking crap. So the networking stuff is gonna go in there um, on the ups so that way whenever the power flickers or blips or whatever, the internet's not gonna go out in case we're watching a movie or whatever, it's not a big deal. Um, I got this little thing wrapped in plastic here is one of those little uh, wire baskets from Ikea. I'm gonna, I have to, I have to screw that onto the bottom of the desk um, so that way I can hold all of my, uh, all these things. These things are a nightmare. For my monitors, I have like the little power bricks and everything. Those things are a pain in the butt to try to minimize the wiring. Um, so yeah, underneath the desk, so you can at least see that. I just put my camera bag there for now with all of my lenses and stuff in it, but yeah. It's a nice little setup so far, I really like it. Um, it feels great, I rolled my chair up to it and got it at the height that I want it. I'll probably be changing it at some point, maybe go a little bit lower than where it is now, but I like it. So the next scene that you're gonna see, everything will be complete. Well, maybe I might do a midway through. This is going to be a long video. It'll probably be about 20 minutes long or so. All right. See you later, guys. All right. Welcome back, guys. So uh, we finished it up. We got uh, another bookcase that we got to do for out in the other room. But here's the uh, little pod thing I was talking about, the little bookshelf. I got in my backpack with my uh, camera bag. I got some random boxes I just threw in there down here. We're gonna get these little drawer things here um, in the future, uh, but I got the modem and the router and the switch in the one box, and then over here I have the uh, UPS for um, all of the networking stuff, so that way if the power flashes, the network doesn't die. I thought about just, I'm gonna put it on this instead of my computer. I mean, I know that it's gonna suck if the power flashes and my computer shuts off, that's gonna really suck, but, um, we spend a lot of time watching movies and things like that on Netflix and Amazon Prime and all that kind of stuff. So I would rather have it where the power just kind of every now and then here where we're at, we get like these little bumps every now and then. And it just kind of it'll kill things. But sometimes the computer doesn't fully die and the computer stays on, especially on a surge protector. The computer stays on, but the network always dies. So I figured I'd put the UPS on the networking stuff so that way we don't lose the network because that would suck. So here it is. That is the final finished setup. I got my dog's food and water bowls down over there in the corner. That's where they've always been. I just put my light up over there for now to get better lighting for me. Um, but here we go. This is, uh, this is the setup. So got the keyboard, just like I did before, I still gotta plug in my headphones and my mic and get my little my little scissor arm for my microphone stand and everything. I gotta figure out where I wanna put that. I don't know if I wanna try to put it back behind this monitor and have it go up over top, like I did that last time, have it go up over top of here. And it'll be a little bit higher and not quite close to my mouth. So if I'm gaming or doing some voiceover stuff, it might not sound as good. Um, it's the only thing I'm worried about that. Um, I gotta get my microphone or my headphones plugged into the mixer and route the wires for that. But this has got to be the cleanest setup I think I've ever done. I know people are gonna yell at me for having the computer on the floor, but I gotta wait until I can buy a case. So relax guys, I'm gonna buy a new case, a smaller case that will fit 
on one of these shelves here, like um, this one here or over on that side over there. So right now I just got my H440. I got the lid off of it right now, the very top piece, because for some strange reason, it doesn't cool very well. Uh, the H1, H110i GT that I have hooked up on there, whether it's exhausting or intaking, it doesn't matter. Um, for whatever reason, it's like 10 to 15 deg uh, degrees hotter with the lid on. So I just kept the lid off, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. Um, I cleaned it out regularly, constantly cleaning it out, so I'm not really, really worried about that. But so relax. I'm gonna get a new case and I'm gonna figure out the dimensions that needs to fit on top of that little shelf down there. And that's the way I'm gonna do it. So like I said, this here is the cleanest that my setup has ever been. You can barely see the wires here going up. They go into a basket underneath and then that's pretty much it. The monitors look like they're floating now. There's not a whole lot of wires anywhere. This is where the mess is. So I tried to wrap up the wires and cabling as best as I could. There's a power strip in here with a surge protector on it. And I try to make it look as clean as I can. It's really difficult with three monitors because you got all the different power blocks for that. I have the power brick for the mixer. I have just loads and loads and loads of different things that I needed to, to pile up inside that basket. So overall, this is the setup that you're gonna see from now on. I hope you guys like it. I absolutely love it. Um, I love that it's lighter, it's not so dark and just blech. So I'm gonna probably use this corner here for a lot of uh, B-roll and everything else because it's that nice wood grain and everything. It's nice and light colored and it looks really good. Of course, you know, you gotta have the YouTube plant. It's gonna be in the videos now. And then might use this, this portion over here on the desk for some B-roll stuff. So I am super happy with it and I hope you guys like it too. And again, we're gonna put more, more stuff up here um, as the time goes on. Um, put in some bins and stuff like that and just throw cabling and other just random junk that I need to throw in there. I'm gonna find some more stuff to put on the walls. I got these little shelves they're like little floating square shells I think I'm gonna put up here. And uh, let me know guys down in the comments, which which way would you rather see the, the you know the future videos? Would you rather have the camera over here with me talking standing up with the two shelves up top with some trinkets and odds and ends on it and then the computer in the background? Or would you rather have the camera down here to where you can see the computer in the background and I just sit in my chair and do my talk throughs and you know, and all that kind of stuff. Or would you rather see me like over here in this corner with this, I'll put some things up here, whatever, like gaming related things and some computer related things. So you let me know down in the comments, but this has been Josh with Techtopia TV. I'm sorry that the audio was so crappy. I was just using my iPhone. Uh, this is the iPhone eight pl or eight plus um, that I'm using now. Uh, so if the audio sucks, I'm really sorry. I didn't have anything hooked up. I wasn't gonna use my main camera and all that kind of stuff for this. So tell me what you think and I'll see you in more videos because now that I got this set up, I can get some stuff done. Later guys.